Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's video is all about keeping seed, chili seeds, snagger seeds, pepper seeds, whatever you want to call them. And what you're going to need is your chilies, your peppers, snaggers, your knife. You're going to need a knife, nice sharp knife. You're going to need some gloves, plastic gloves, because you don't want to get chilies everywhere because they can sting. And you're going to need some containers and some labels. To label the chili so you know which one's which so you don't get mixed up when you start growing them and planting them now as you can see i've chosen the best chilies and nuggets that i could find because what you want to do you want the big ones the bigger they are the better and the more likely you're going to get bigger chilies from it so choose the best ones that are ripe like here i've got a good selection here of i've got a Trinidad Scorpion, and I've got these chilies that smell like naga and I've got my deshi nagas all the fine specimens so what you want to do first thing you want to do is get hold of your chili make sure you've got your gloves on because you don't want to start touching everywhere now this is what I've got here is my Trinidad Scorpion the second ho hottest chilies in the world chili peppers in the world after the Carolina Reaper so I'm going to get some seeds out of this and I'm going to show you how it's done it's a very simple process I'm sure most of you know it anyway so this is mainly for beginners now first thing you want to do is cut the end just the end bit off so cut it gently and then separate that and then you want to get hold of the skin the first layer of skin and just gently cut through that because you don't what last thing you want to do is cut the seeds you don't want to cut the seeds and then spread it open now wow actually there's quite a lot of seeds in here some chilies you will see there's no seeds in them some nuggets you get you cut it open there's one or two seeds in them this one thankfully marshall has got loads of seeds and what you want to do is try and keep all of them you want to keep every single seed. The thing is, not all of them are going to germinate. So the more seeds you got, the better chance of getting more plants out of them. So either you can use your hand or, or a little knife. Just I'm using the same knife because I don't want to get chili everywhere. So use the same knife. Slowly start getting all the seeds out. Now as you get the seeds out, you will get a bit of other stuff that come with it. The little red bit that is connected to don't worry about that once you start drying the seeds all that will fall off so scrape all the seeds off last few you might need to use your fingers or your hands some will get stuck like you see now always be careful when you're touching hot spicy hot stuff make sure you wash all the everything you you you're using Last thing you want to do is the kids getting hold of it or you want to get it stuck in your eyes or stuck on your nose because it can burn especially if you're not used to it. Now save the skin. You can save that to make pickle or even put it in your curries. I want to get the end ones as well. Look at this, there's a few left in that. You can make lovely hot spicy curry with the skins or make beautiful pickles. I'm going to do a video on pickles soon hopefully. Well, I'll make my own naga pickle. Now once you've done all this, next what you need to do is grab yourself your plastic container. There you go, I've got a nice little container here. Now you can use any other containers. And all I'm going to do is put all the seeds in there. One by one, I'm going to stick all the seeds in there, as you can see. Stick them all in there. Make sure you don't miss any out even with the little little red bits you've got on them now these little red bits which the seeds are stuck on once the seed gets dried up they'll come off very easy they're very easy to come off so don't worry about those now at the moment they're wet so it's quite hard to get off and you don't want to damage the seeds so stick them all in there don't miss any of them just remember the more seeds you got the good chance of getting more plants out of it because not all of these seeds will germinate. Remember that. If you've got about 100 seeds, the most likely you'll be lucky to get half of them germinating. So, 
stick them all in there. One of the great things about collecting your own seeds from your own pepper and naga plants is that you know exactly what type of plant or you're going to get, what type of nagas you're going to get. Many times I bought from eBay nuggers and Carolina Reapers and they turned out to be totally something different. Not hot, not spicy like bell peppers, useless chilli plants. So this way we know what we're going to get. So there shouldn't be any problems. So that's one of the best things about it. Also, a lot of people now, I mean, they're actually selling these on eBay. A lot of people are doing it in mass production and selling it. In times like now, if you can start a business, it's great. Okay, so that's more or less all done. Now, I've got my container. I've got the label on it. There you go, Trinidad Scorpion. I've got the seeds on it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in a nice warm place. A lot of air around it so that the seeds dry up. Don't put a lid on it yet. You want to keep them in a nice place with good circulation so that these seeds can dry. It'll take about five to seven days for these seeds to totally dry up. So that's about it everyone, stick a lid on it and then that's it, save until next next year, next season. So assalamu alaikum everyone, thank you for watching.